Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, with the help of our DIY Arduino board, I will share with you how to create a latch using ladder logic and also you will understand why it's preferable to use normally close as a stop push button rather than normally open. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new video. Okay, so great. Now let's try and create our latch. So we have this simple logic. Now let's click on the Arduino icon to download this logic into our Arduino board. Okay, so we click on the upload. Kindly be patient if this is your first time to take some time before it compiles. Okay, upload done. We now press on our first push button and we can see our lamp comes on and immediately we take off our hand, it goes back off. Okay, great, no latch. Now let's try to introduce latch into our circuit. So we quickly add another contact and basically this is going to be the auxiliary contact of our output coil so we select our output which is output 1 and then we click OK we position it correctly and then link them to each other we can see that this contact is parallel to our start button ok great so now let's try and simulate and then see how this particular logic works Okay, so after clicking on the simulation, we put on our goggles and then we can see that there are two green lines indicating that there is current flow to this particular contact and then current flow to the auxiliary contact of our output. Okay, when I force this input on, we can see that we have current flow to our output. Our output is energized now. Okay, great. Now we have another current path through the auxiliary contact of the output to the output. Okay, now I force the input off and then we can see that our output is still on because there is a current path through the auxiliary to the output. Good. Now let's test this physically. So now we click on the Arduino download button. Okay, so we now click on the upload button and then our upload starts. Okay, good. So now when we press on the first push button, our lamp comes on and then you can see it holds on when I take off my hand. Okay, good. We now move on and then introduce how to unlatch this particular circuit. Okay, so to do this, we have to take off this connection point. Take this very one also off. And then we introduce a new contact. And this is going to be our stop input. Okay, and because our contact on field is normally open, we need to make it normally close in our program. Okay, so we wire to the one end of our stop input and then the other end to the output. And then we need to connect our auxiliary contact of the output to the first end of our stop push button. Okay, great. We now click on the upload. Good, we can see uploading done. And now when I press on the first push button, my lamp comes on. And then when I press on the second push button, the lamp goes off. Our unlatched circuit is working perfectly, as well as the latching circuit. Great. Now let's see how this circuit works when there is a fault introduced in our stop push button. Okay, we can see our lamp coming on. When I press the green button, we now introduce the fault 
in our stop push button and then we can see that when this is introduced now I cannot put the lamp off until I correct this error which is really dangerous for operators great to make it safe we need to rewire this circuit and make our logic normally open and then make our wiring normally close on field to create what we term as a fail save to fail in the safe mode okay so i switch the input to input 2 and then the stop to input 1 okay and then i move on to the hardware and then change from the normally close open point sorry to the normally close point okay so i take from terminal 4 and then connect it to terminal 2 and then i pick from terminal 3 and connect it to terminal 1 which is the normally close point of this particular push button okay it's firmly in position we now move on and then download our program upload our program onto our Arduino board uploading done and now we can see that when I press the start button the lamp comes on and then when I press the stop it goes off working perfectly we now move on and in introduce a fault into this circuit and let's see how it handles this fault okay so I move on with this help of a screwdriver take off the stop cable let's say there's a break in the stop cable and then you can see that when I press the start the machine does not start at all the lamp does not come on which means it has filled in the safe mode until this is rectified there's no way I'm going to be able to turn this particular lamp on now it's rectified the lamp comes on and then when I press the stop it goes off viewers this brings us to the end of this lesson we've been able to program a large and unlatch circuit and also understand the reason why we need to make our stop push button normally close on field and then normally open in our program thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye